Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Leoni and I'm coming to you from South Africa. This video that I'm uploading today is a little bit different from my normal content, but I do feel it's maybe something interesting to share for everybody out there. And this is me trying to get a reset on my works in progresses. None of my works in progresses I want to frog. I want to complete all of them. There's nothing that's not bringing me joy. I just want to get to a point where I have fewer whips and where as a result of that I will have a lot more freedom of what I make whenever I want to make it. If that makes sense. Um, so I have made a plan that I recorded me building an Excel spreadsheet for planning what I need to do every single day to get two projects that has been major. It's not small projects, it's quite big projects of which the one has been coming along for more than a year now, my Tree of Life blanket. I want that done by the end of this year. And I want to finish off my Jew Gradient Shawl, which is the shawl that was this year's MCAL, as well before the end of this year. I'm on to Clue 4. Clue 4 is a lot of work. It is what it is. Then I'm also going to work on another Renunculus as part of a make-along with my friend Mariette from the Boerfrau. We are hosting a Renunculus make-along November of 2023. And yeah, you're still more than welcome to join us if you should want to. It's very really informal. So that's what I'm making in November in terms of a garment. But beyond that, I want to say my 30 minutes of crafting every day, I'm going to do this. And for this, currently, it's going to be one of those two projects. Either the Tree of Life or the Geo Gradient Shawl. Depends on what I feel like that morning for my 30 minutes, either knitting or crocheting. Then later in the day, I will try to get to the other item as well as my ranunculus. I will not need to force myself with the ranunculus. Um, it's part of a make along. It's nice to show progress. I love making the ranunculus. It's very beautiful. I'm very excited for that. So I am going to force myself a little bit to work on the other projects as well and not force because I don't want to work on it it's just a matter of prioritization if you understand what I mean so let's go over to Excel and I can show you what my methodology is to get this done okay we are on Excel and I just always find it easier to do it like this and I'm going to start with, let's say, the date. And tomorrow's date is the 30th of October 2023. And it should just work if I drag and drop the dates. Yes, my plan is working. I want to take it to the end of 2023, the 31st of December. Then, let's quickly on a new sheet just calculate how many we have in total. Another 63 days in 2023 left. Okay, so that's 63 days left. I have got 93 rows, sorry, 93 rows left to do on my three of life blanket and I've got 45 rows left on my Jew gradient that is the two projects besides my ranunculus which I'm doing in November that I want to have completed by the end of this year so let's calculate how much do we need to do per day for me to say I am done? So let's say 
93 rows divided by 63 days. On average, I need to have to do one and a half rows of the tree of life blanket to be done. And for the due gradient, this is going to be a lot easier to complete. Is 0.7. Let's make it one row per day. Rows per day on average. So now let's go back to my dates. I'm just going to scroll up and I'm going to freeze my panes because that's how I roll. Uh, view freeze panes. Okay. I have to work on my three of life and I want to work on my two gradient. Sure. Okay, equals sum. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm now counting the amount of rows that I'm adding to my tree of life as per my plan. And how many I'm just dragging and dropping so that the same formula is there for the two gradient. So let's say, did I do this correct now? Yes, I did. Okay. So let's say, which, what will also help, I'm going to add a column, is to tell me what day of the week this is. So the 30th, um, day of There we go, it's a Monday. Don't <laughs> um, I might even cut out all my formula. So day of the week, a Monday. Is it realistic for me to say two rows on a Monday for my tree of life? I think not. Let's just add one row on a Monday. Fingers crossed, this is going to work. Yes, it worked. But, but I don't have enough um, rows. I need to do a total of 93 rows. So I am short of 12 rows. This is a crisis. So let's go and have a look where I can add a few more rows. I'll say let's make my equation just a little bit better. Okay. Those of you not know Excel will understand what I'm doing now. Okay, good. And I'm gonna say let's say Saturdays if this one equals Saturday. Let's do free on a Saturday. The reason I'm picking only Saturdays to do free, check, yes, it's correct, is because Sundays I want to work on my surplus surplus projects. Um, so yeah, I'm shorting three, two rows. I need two, three rows, three rows. So let's say 23, 24, 25, it's going to be quiet. I need one more. The 31st is a public holiday. There we go. If I stick to this plan, I will have my tree of life blanket completed by the end of this year. Let's now do the same for due gradient. And because I 
made some magic with the dollar signs in the beginning I just drag and drop and I don't need to do three on a Saturday I can even on a Saturday do only one let's do this I'm on 72 rows I only need 45 so that means even Sundays let's do one there we go I only need 45 this is totally oh no that's this is correct this is what I have left to do so this means I should be done by the 13th of December with my due gradient short this is excellent news for me obviously when I'm done with the due gradient short I should then be able to work a little bit faster on my tree of life as well I'm excited okay. let's merge and sync to this guy that's done and because I want to print this out I have 65 days divided by 2 let's say 32 okay cut Oops. just for printing purposes let's make this better there we go Enter. excellent let's see control v I always like to make my things pretty let's go to something pink why not there we go and because it's printed out it will help if there are borders everywhere there we go and we say print everything fits not on one page interesting okay i'm going to let's first do it and um i am going to leave this page open for the future log the upcoming six months for this page i want to put in a month spread like this which i created on excel as well i printed it and now I'm just going to paste it into my book. Yeah, we can do it this way around. And then before I put in my weekly spread and my daily spread, I am now going to add my plan that I just printed and created. Let me do it like this, might be easier to see. I'm going to cut this out. Blue. and I'm going to take my favorite highlighter I'm going to write here So now that I've pasted 
my plan into my journal where I feel it will be practical to follow and to reference to. I am on a daily basis going to go and I will cross out if I have met today's target. And yeah, that is about it. The only thing that I will add, just to make it easier for me to get to this page on a daily basis, is I'm going to take a pen, thumb tag, let's do this, okay, and even on the back of it, I'm going to put some glue, Oopsie. going to put some glue, and fold it over. So it's much easier for me to find throughout my journal. So this is my final layout. I've added some stickers. It's right next to my weekly. So yeah. Let's see how this goes. For increased chances of success, I have put next to my chair where I sit and do my crafting on this table my MCAL sorry my MCAL in the project bag by not the habit and my tree of life blanket right next to it and then there's my chair and on this table in this bag I've got the two cones that's for my ranunculus and there's a small spot on the table for coffee in the morning.